Hey, welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about exchange of gases um, in your lungs. Let's go. All right. So uh, in the following videos, uh, I'll try my best to speak both languages. La. I will mainly explain things in English, but I will try to do some translation in Mandarin for uh, Chinese students, uh, just in case you need uh, some further explanation. So then this video can benefit everyone that is watching. La. I'll try to try to roger a bit, la. Malaysian, la. I'll roger, roger a bit. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, we are only going to talk about uh, 2.2, which is your movement of gases, uh, which is diffusion that happens between uh, your lungs and your blood capillary. So, the Explanation of this part is uh, very important, so we'll get into a uh, more writing explanation of the whole story. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, oxygen is inhaled, right? It's inhaled uh, from the air into your lungs, so it goes straight right into your uh, alveolus, which is the smallest unit or the smallest part of uh, your lungs. So alveolus is where we are talking about now. Okay. So when air enter, mostly oxygen enter, for example. So oxygen will go through a process called diffusion. Diffuse into your red blood cell. That means it will bind with your red blood cells. So let's take a look in the sequence that I've prepared for you. Uh, I've already written down in six steps, very straightforward. So let's get into um, sequence number one. So oxygen is diffused through the wall of the alveolus, okay, into the wall of blood capillary and into the blood. Why is this happening? That is because of diffusion theory. High concentration will always go into low concentration. Okay, so in your lungs right now, there is more oxygen, okay, than in your blood. Okay, so the higher concentration of oxygen in your alveolus, which is in your lungs, will diffuse because high, con high concentration will go to low concentration. That's usually the case. Okay? So, yang qi shu yao jing ru ni de xue na yi ding yao yo bu yang de zhe yi ge mi ji du wo mu shuo na yi ge yang qi. Zai fei li mian de yang qi shi bi jiao duo la. Xue de yang qi bi jiao sao. Zhe ge jiu yi zao cheng yi bian duo yi bian sao. Zhe yang zi jiu yi rang yang qi kuo san jing xu wo zhe shi jing ru ni de hong xue qiu li mian. Yeah? Okay, so, I think number one, right? Step number one, most important thing you must tell yourself is the word diffusion. Diffusion happens. Okay, so number two, when the uh, oxygen diffuse into your blood capillaries and it will combine with oxygen. So everybody take a look at your equation. Uh, hemoglobin, okay, uh, plus oxygen equals to oxyhemoglobin. So I would say the second point, our uh, most important thing is to talk about oxyhemoglobin. So hemoglobin combine oxygen form oxyhemoglobin. So when the oxyhemoglobin, uh, the red blood cell carries oxygen, right? It will bind with the hemoglobin in the red blood cell. So each red blood cells will have hemoglobins. Okay, there's a lot of them. And each of them will carry oxygen molecule. It's like a bus. Hemoglobin is the seat. Red blood cell is the bus. Hemoglobin is the seat. So oxygen goes up to the bus. They can pick their seat, which is hemoglobin. Combine, sit down and wait for the bus to fill up. And we will go okay so hemoglobin is a dark red material okay uh, and uh, it usually combined with oxygen and becomes bright red color because that's like a fresh fresh color lah, huh? so oxygen bright red remember that way okay and uh, it is an unstable compound that means it, it can be split easily anytime when it arrives at the body cell Okay, we don't want them to be together forever. We want them to be unstable. 最好就是很不适合在一起的。最好就是很容易分开的那种。如果你在一起了,等下去到body 
combine， 然后等下去到 body cells 的时候容易分开。所以它的特点啊 ，characteristics everybody of oxyhemoglobin unstable and bright red. Okay, right. So then number three. The blood is full of oxygen right now, so oxygenated blood will flow, ah,、uh, to the body cells and to distribute. But before that, right, we would usually need to travel from lungs to the heart, because you learn in the next chapter, chapter three, heart pumps blood to other parts of the body. Okay, so blood with oxyhemoglobin, which is also you learn in the next chapter, called oxygenated blood, right? So then, number four, the blood reaches the blood、uh, body cells. Okay, that has low concentration of oxygen. So oxyhemoglobin will decompose. So when the bus is outside of the body cell, and they will take a look. Oh, hey guys, I think these cells need you. Ah,、uh, very empty. Ah,、eh, uh, no oxygen. Ah,、eh, ah,、uh. uh, guys, 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 you can get down the bus now. So. Because of different concentration, the body cell is lack of oxygen. The bus, which is the red blood cell, is full of oxygen. Diffusion happens again. Okay, now this time diffuse into the ah、uh, the body cells. Ah, okay, because the body cell kind of like order the oxygen. Like, eh,、hey, not enough oxygen. Liao, can you give me oxygen? Ah, then you have to send oxygen. Ah, as a bus driver, as a red blood cell. So when you diffuse red blood, ah,、uh, when you diffuse oxygen to the body cells. Due to different concentration, okay, ah,、uh, then carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide from the cell will diffuse into the bus because you have to exchange that. So as a bus driver, you carry the carbon dioxide back to the lungs. So it's always like an exchange, okay. So number four, when the blood reaches the area around the body cells that has low concentration, oxyhemoglobin will decompose and release. So I guess um. These are very important words to mention, ah,、uh, and release oxygen molecule. Okay, so this is the equation that they break down. Very simple. And the cell receive the oxygen. Okay, ah,、uh, process of cellular respiration happens. So yeah, ah,、uh, this is from your form one, lah. So when oxygen and glucose together, oxygen, glucose, ah,、uh, boom, becomes energy. Okay, so. Um, that's what、uh, respiration is about to re、uh, to take oxygen from your lungs,、uh, into the cells, and then they will carry out respiration, and then they will produce carbon dioxide. It will be released back into the blood and goes back to the lung. Okay, so carbon dioxide diffuse into the blood capillary, so exchange ah,、uh, and transported to the alveolus and removed through exhalation. So this is where it comes back now. Okay, here it comes back now. Which is blood full of carbon dioxide, and diffusion happens again due to the concentration because the lungs or the alveoli has lesser、uh, carbon dioxide. The blood has more carbon dioxide, so same thing happen. Ah,、uh, diffusion happens. Okay, and、uh, yep, this is the picture where you arrive at the cell and you、uh, release oxygen to the cell. The cell release carbon dioxide to you. Okay, so I guess um the six steps that I've arranged for you here, right? Ah,、uh, uh, it makes it easier for you to break down all better than a whole chunk of story. So if you were to pick all important keywords from all of these, right? I will call the first one as D for diffusion. Okay, right, and ah、uh, number two, I guess the important word here will be oxyhemoglobin. That means combine already. And number three, I would say the important word here is transport. You know, transport blood, and number four, I would say decompose and release. Ah, so I would say ah、uh, release. Ah, okay, release, and then number five, respiration. Number six, carbon dioxide. C, okay. So if you really need like a shorter way to remember this, this is I think how you can remember, which is dragon of. The red ruby castle. I mean, I just make make up this in a short time. So whichever you think that helps you to remember, like dragon of the red ruby castle. If you have better one, why not? Right? You can share to me in the comment section below. Okay. So if you remember dragon of the red ruby castle, so you can think of dragon D diffusion O oxyhemoglobin T transport, and then R 
are release, release layout, then R, uh, respiration, and then C, carbon dioxide brings back to the lung. At least, at least you have like a shorter way to remember. Okay, all good. So, um, to actually make uh, the, the understanding of the part easier for you, we will probably take a look at a video. I will show you roughly how it happens so you get a better idea with, um, with animation. Okay, so uh, the video is, uh, is animation, so it, it's not complete with the whole cycle. I'm just going to show you a little bit how it works. Okay, so for instance, now air has entered your lung. Uh, so everybody take a look at your video. Okay, so let's say now air has entered the lung. Let me quickly skip that to the part. Okay. All right. So when it enters the nostril, so it goes into your trachea. It goes to your bronchi. This is from your 2.1. Then it goes to your lung. It goes to your bronchioles. There you go, bronchioles. And then it gets into your... There you go, alveolus. Okay, so this is the smallest unit we have in your lung, right? This is called the alveolus, okay? It looks like broccoli. This is where the all the blood vessels are attached to and gaseous action. So we can talk diffusion here. The air from your nose all the way to your small alveolus. In this part, we will have the diffusion. They exchange the gases here and it will go into your blood capillary. So, what you're looking at now, right? It's the detailed version, uh, like from here. But this is like cross section, uh, cut half. Uh, but now the video that I'm showing you, it's uh, in 3D form. You get it, right? So can you look at like all the blood vessels on the outside? Yeah. Okay, so we continue. Okay, so cut half. Yes, this is a lot together. The the textbook picture that I show you just now is just one. Okay, this is a lot together. Okay, don't worry about the labelings. Okay, so RBC that enters your alveolus. Okay, see oxygen is ready to get in. <laughs> okay, it sticks to the red blood cells. Okay, this is how we carry the diffusion happens here. Diffusion, see? Diffusion. So all the red blood cells will slowly suck up the oxygen. It becomes bright red color. See that? Bright red color. Okay. So imagine all of them like that. Uh, you see at the meantime, uh, they release CO2. Uh, see the, the gray color? Yeah. Okay, so then it travels away now with uh, blood full of oxygen. Okay. Then anyways, now uh, we talk about the CO2 is bringing back to your lungs already. Uh, so just now the blood will go away to your body cells. Now it's CO2 carries back to your lung and then exhale. Okay, there you go. So you have a better idea of all the sequence. Then you try and remember the keywords. I think that will help you better. Okay, so uh, let's get back to the notes of this page okay so what are the special adaptation of alveolus like why alveolus so good diffusion all the diffusion happens easily right like the oxygen will just and then stick to the red blood cell and then it travels away there are four characteristics that makes this whole process of diffusion easy uh, and efficient okay so like factor number one the wall of the alveolus is very thin the blood capillary also very thin one layer of cell so thin so it makes diffusion happens very easily hey, 如果我跟你讲你有一个墙壁是一个cell这么薄基本上你眼睛是看不到啦你可以很容易的就穿过去啊 it's very thin so it's easy for diffusion so this is one of the very important factor that causes diffusion happens easily and gaseous exchange more efficiently. Number two, moist wall of alveolus. Alveolus must be slightly moist so that the gases can dissolve and diffuse. If dry lungs, uh, dry lungs like people who smoke, okay? Uh, usually smokers have dry lungs. 
gaseous exchange happen not so efficiently because it's not moist it doesn't dissolve the gas it doesn't capture the gas okay so moist warm mixed diffusion happens and uh, easily okay number three larger surface area of avalus look Look at all the pictures or look at, let me show you again. Look at all the amount of, can you imagine this is just one? Uh? Look behind of the picture, there's so many of them. So we have a large surface area in total. Uh, imagine your whole lungs. Uh. You know how large it is? If you were to take all your Everless and make it flat and iron it out, long ping ta, pu ping ping, the size of all alveolar surface is like a tennis court size. Can okay, imagine you are having a tennis court in your body now, helps you to do diffusion to exchange gases. That's a lot, right? So tennis court, like, you don't know, tennis court, that's the whole So it has a large surface area for gaseous exchange, number four. Okay, so number five will be a lot of a network of blood capillaries like i showed you just now there's so many blood capillaries take a look again so many blood vessels there's so many blood capillaries so these four factors makes it efficient for gaseous exchange to happen okay so thin wall moist large surface area and network of blood capillary okay can i Okay, uh, this really takes some effort and some time to go through it again. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Materials are available for you to download in the description box below. Go ahead and download and use it for yourself and, you know, and follow what I teach here. All right. I have some exercise to try out, obviously. Okay, I'll do one with you. I have another question for you to try yourself at home. So help yourself. Like number one, huh? let's take a look. We have to fill up all the uh, whatever is asked in the picture. So name structure X and Y provided. Okay, like we do X and Y first. What is X? Uh? So X, I guess that's pointing the, this is one alveolus. Uh, huh? So this is called the uh, X uh, here. Okay, so that is alveolus. Okay, or oh, alveolus wall, I think it's acceptable as well. Okay, Y is pointing at obviously your blood capillary so why blood cap b blurry okay right cool um that's it number two process r and s is r and s all process look at the arrow arrows coming in arrows going out well i think that's pretty obvious that will be your inhalation or coming in my oxygen so inhalation S is going out, right? The arrow is pointing out, right? So that will be your exhalation. Okay, done. Number three, P and Q in the space provided. Oh, oh, gas. Okay, so take a look at the arrow at the same time. Gas Q is like that. Okay, gas P is like that. So from your lung, from your alveolus, go into blood must be things that you want to travel, want to transport away. Okay, that will be oxygen gas. Okay, then the ballet Q going out. Oh, both also diffusion. That's your carbon dioxide, right? So I carbon dioxide. Okay, cool. Basic stuff, basic labeling. Make sure you uh, know how to label all of them. All good? Okay, um, like B. So, figure below shows the structure of Everless and Blood Capillary. Yeah, yeah, the same picture that we have just now. Explain how oxygen is transported to the body cell starting from Everless. This is, this is why we are here today, okay? My main point of today's video is to make sure you understand how the whole flow and how to explain. So starting from alveoli to body cell, right? That's what uh, question wants you to explain for three marks. Yeah. So alveoli to body cell, basically we need to explain in three points. So I guess if I recall back to my 
Dragon of the Red Ruby Castle. Okay, so question only wants me to start from alveoli to body cell. So body cell is where it releases in the first. I think I can almost I can cut here lah. Oh, so the first one is diffusion. So we have to definitely talk about diffusion. Number two, we have to talk about oxyhemoglobin. The next, we have to talk about transport to body cell and release to body cell. Then respiration, the CO2, the one return on it. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. So you get a better idea, right? So uh, dragon of the red ruby castle. Diffusion, oxyhemoglobin, uh, transport and release. Okay, so uh, I already prepared the answers for you. So I'll explain from my answer. I'll show you how I make it to points and uh, get the correct keyword and be accurate of your three marks explanation. Don't write whatever that comes into your head. You should plan your marks and what are the keywords like what I did just now. Okay, so I already prepared for you. Uh, if you need to pause the video and copy that answer, please go ahead. Uh, pause the video anytime if you want to. Okay. So, there you go. Now, point number one. Inhale air, enter the alveoli and diffuse, diffuse, ladies and gentlemen. Keyword, into blood capillary. Gao Tim, one mark. Oxygen combines with hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin. That's second mark. Second mark. Okay, third mark, I think we combine transport and the release of oxygen together. Okay, so oxyhemoglobin transport, oh, transport, check, body cell and decompose, oh, check some important keywords as well, and release, oh, check, oxygen, and oxygen then diffuses into body cell, um, and then respiration, but we have to, don't have to talk about respiration, now, by the way. So there you go, one mark, second mark, and your third mark. You see, I want the sentence to be straightforward and not beating around the bush. 简单就好. 不要啰里啰嗦,不要就是做卡然案,不要做essay,你的point要有,keyword要有, of course, your sentence have to make sense and have at least a minimum level of English la, right? You don't tell me you write like very broken English and then you expect teacher to give you marks and understand the whole thing, right? It must make sure that you make sense. Yup. Okay. You can pause and copy if you want to, right? I'll move on to the next one. So figure below shows structure of Everless. Okay, same, same again. What is that? Name the process involved in gaseous exchange between Everless and blood capillary. Wait. Process? Gaseous exchange between Everless and blood capillary. Exchange, guys, between the lungs and the... Remember the same word that I've been repeating and repeating, which is from the lung to the blood, from blood back to the lung. It's called D. Fusion. So, like, very simple. Diffusion. That's it. One mark. Okay. Cool. Number two. Explain how this process happened. How diffusion happened. Okay, very simple. I have it here for you. Diffusion happens is because the difference of concentration. Okay. Everless has higher concentration of oxygen compared to the concentration of oxygen in the blood. This is talking only about oxygen. Yeah. Uh, I think we have two marks. Uh. Um, okay, that means we have to explain back and forth. We have to talk about oxygen and we have to talk about carbon dioxide as well. Okay, let me just quickly show you a, a simple chart to understand this. Now, L, alveolus, okay, that's very bad, uh, bad looking wording. <laughs> alveolus, okay, uh, and then we have blood. Capillary, okay? Now, in the alveolus, right, I'm pretty sure oxygen is greater than in the blood. The size I show you, I means higher concentration. While on the opposite side, the CO2 in the alveolus must be lesser and the CO2 in your body, produced by your body cell, will be greater. Make sense? Look at the sizes and that tells you the concentration, yeah? So hence, um, blood capillary has greater CO2 concentration than the alveolus. It will be diffused huh? into the blood capillary. 
So vice versa, on the other side, oxygen in your alveolus has greater concentration. It will be diffused to your blood capillary. Lock. You follow the color, lah, guys. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, cool. I show you the answer. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's a bit long, but you have to explain for two marks. Yeah. It's just all the words are long. That's why it repeats. It makes it long. But actually, the main point here is oxygen in the alveoli concentration higher. So oxygen diffused from lungs, which is uh uh eh, from alveoli into the blood capillary. Sorry for the typo. From the alveoli into the blood capillary. Okay. Yeah which is the story that I mentioned here. So vice versa, concentration of CO2 higher in the blood capillary, yeah, compared to the lungs, 在血二氧化碳多一点, so it will diffuse, she come now, will diffuse from blood capillaries into the alveoli. So tabale, basically tabale the whole thing. Uh. That gives you two marks. So what makes this sentence looks very long is because all the word, uh, concentration of uh, higher and causes concentration, uh, diffuse concentration, uh. So actually, they are very straightforward. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I guess I have already met the point that I want, which is to help you to understand how you explain the flow okay, of uh, oxygen being trans transported and also how to explain the diffusion. Okay, good. Question number two for you, la, I guess. Uh, not very difficult. Try on. Uh, answers will be provided. Okay. Um, you can download the materials in the description box, remember that, okay? Cool! I guess uh, that's it for today's video. If it helps you, give me a thumbs up. Maybe uh, consider to subscribe and share to your friends. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!